this is what the creation process for my dioramas look like. First, I draw them a two-dimensional square, then I will port them into 3D when I actually make the diorama. Now with a good idea of what it's going to look like in a two-dimensional square, let's port it to the third dimension. On to the video. Most dioramas start with the base. This is a 2x2x1 two by two by inch piece of XPS foam. I cover the base with apple barrel burnt umber. To sell the look of the diorama, I use dirt from planet Earth. Doing it like this will accumulate a lot of dirt on the base, so we will flip it upside down and spank it a few times. I use a mixture of water and Mod Podge, and I drag the brush across the base to seal the dirt to the base. This is the local photobomb master, her name is Reznov. Personal preference, but I prefer Vallejo metal color as my primer. So initially I was torn between using two MA TVs or two JL TVs. I experimented with different layouts, you know, a MA TV and a JL TV, two MA TVs, two JL TVs, but in the end I decided to go with the two JL TVs. I will use Vallejo Metal Color to prime the vehicles. I use a very caveman technique to make the river. To finish the base layer of the vehicle, I use a GHQ olive drip. I go back with a paintbrush and I paint all the wheels on the vehicles in Vallejo black gray. My fat hand is in the way, but I am painting the windows in apple barrel black. Since you couldn't get a really good view, uh, here's a more close showcase of them. I do believe that I am getting way better with the paintbrush. In preparation for the resin pour, I will tape off the sides with uh, electrical tape. After I poured the UV resin, uh, it wasn't encroaching up the sides like epoxy does, so I had to take a toothpick and uh, coax it up. I used too much blue and it ruined the way the river looks, but oh well, live and learn. After the resin is cured, I take an exacto knife and shave off the excess. I also apply a layer of Mod Podge gloss to seal the river because it was slightly tacky. I got this one from Luke Talon. You take your Mod Podge and put it onto the river and then use your airbrush to create ripples. Didn't really work though. At least not on this resin. And here we have the second best photo bomber. This is Jinx. I use Mod Podge to create a patchy uh, pattern and I use a static grass applicator to apply grass. Sometimes the grass will fall sideways, just rub your finger along the side and that'll get rid of any wayward uh, grass. I took the trees and poked holes onto the base where they will go. I took some broken up toothpicks and put them into the holes where the trees were. Now having the collective IQ of a blobfish, I completely forgot to record most of the tree assembly part, but I am just taking JTT scenery bare trees and putting some clump foliage on them. I took one of the JLTVs and made track marks leading up to where they will be on the base. Now I remove the toothpicks that I put in an earlier step. I use Mod Podge to glue the vehicles to the base. Last but not least, I glue the trees in place.
I also take some more clump foliage to create bushes along the river and the dirt path. And finally, we paint the sides black with apple barrel black, and after that, we'll call it good. Hey, I hope you liked the video. Uh, certainly really fun to work on. Long time in the making too. I've been looking for a suitable water uh, replacement and I found it in the UV resin. <laughs> um, my 3D printer is kind of messed up right now. Still, still on the fritz. Um, I can't get it to print and I can't print anything because I do not have a film for it. Uh, enjoy uh, the rest of your day or night whenever you're watching.